hello guys so welcome back to the youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to teach you how to create an e-commerce website with blogger yes i'm going to teach you how you can create an e-commerce website with blogger so you don't have to pay anything in creating this website you don't have to um, um learn a very big editing skill you just need to have a google account and you can create a website like this it's going to be easy cheap free and you're just going to learn how to do this yourself so this is the website i'm going to be creating so if you click on it you have everything about the product you have the product title so let me remove this you have the product title you have the the um the image you have the price you have the auto card view card you have your checkout you have your description you have your sidebar you have um related uh products there about so guys in this video i'm going to show you how we can create a website just like this without wasting much time so let's get right into the tutorial guys so let's dive right in so the first step in creating a blogger account is to go to blogger.com or to create a website like that or to create an e-commerce blogger website like that for free is to go to blogger.com so once you visit blogger.com you'll be welcome with a page like this it says publish your passion your way create a unique and beautiful blog easily so what you have to do is to click on create your blog now once you click on create your blog it's going to ask you to sign up with a gmail now some of you do not have a gmail account so all you just have to do is to go to google and type in gmail creation or creating gmail or gmail sign up whatever you have so i'm using an incognito tab so that's why this rubbish is actually happening but you can just do that on your own and then send um get your google account so now after that you're going to click on create your blog once you do click, click on create your blog it's going to ask you to sign in with your google account so a lot of us already have blogger um gmail account but if you don't have you can still click on create an account from here so you can create an account for here from here and then you're going to choose which um who you want to create the account for click on my for my personal use and then you're going to finish so this you're going to enter an account let me see this as you mean this is my account i'm just going to click on this click on next now it's going to ask me for my password now after entering your password you're going to be welcome with a page or a screen just like this other one now it's going to ask you to choose a name for your e-commerce website so i'm going to call this website um g gmat so gmat i'm going to call this gmat i'm going to click on next so it's going to ask me to enter an address i'm going to click on gmat if the blog address is not available you can add other things to it so as you can see gmat so let me use an x gmat so this blog address is available now if you look under here you're going to see this blog address is available now mind you it's going to give you a subdomain as you can see it's going to be a subdomain attached to it it's going to be dot blogspot.com so this subdomain is going to be attached to it so guys so for that you just have to add it and then click on save because yeah, it's free you're not paying for it so that's how you do it you just pay you just click on it and then click on save and it's going to process and create your first website so this is your website guys the next thing you want to do is to click on view your website or view blog they are both the same thing so as you can see this is the demo version of your website gmats.blogspot.com so this is a demo version of your website this is how your website look without any customization you have this then you have your menu bar here and then you have less or nothing here so we're going to start customizing it in few moments so but before we do the customization i have to teach you an uh, um, I'm going to I have to explain everything on this side or the left side of your browser so you can basically understand what you are working with. So starting on this, you have your post. Now post, this is where you add more content or more products. So in the post tab is where you add more products to your website. So you can start adding product by clicking on new post and then you start creating or adding more product. The next you have your stats. Stats actually represent the um, number of visitors on your website. How many people have visited your website? This is where you see your analytics, your website analytics. No people that have visited your website over time. People that check in your product and your highest product, you're going to see everything here. So the next part, you have your comment. When people actually comment on your website, you they are going to pop up here. Now, when people actually engage on your, on your product, they ask questions about it, they drop reviews, they are going to show up here. This is where you can reply them. This is where you can set up something. Now, if you want to employ AdSense on your website so you can make money, if you want to use um, employ adsense so you can make money you can just come here and then connect adsense now adsense is a platform is a um 
is a medium which google actually show ads on your website display ads to your visitors and then you get paid for it so the next is your pages this is where you add your about us page your contact us page your privacy policy your disclaimer and any other page you have then you have your layout so your layout actually control the structure of your website so this layout actually control the structure of your website everything on your website is um okay let me show you an example if we click on this about me we click on turn off this widget turn off this and then click on save if we go back to our website we refresh I will click on it so you can see there's no about me here again because we have turned that off so the layer actually control the structure of your website the next you have the team now blogger has different pre-made team for you you if you want to select any of that team you can actually do that from this area so you can pick any team that best suits your website as you can see there are thousands and thousands of them here a hundred of them here so let's assume we are picking something like this click on apply so you're going to see our website is going to change because team is going to give the team is going to give us a different customization see this is a different customization so there's still one i actually like using for demo this cut or let's use a makeup apply so if we go back and refresh you're going to see the difference on our platform so this is it guys as you can see okay now let's go back and continue the last part is our settings we have our settings area so this is where control almost everything on the website so i'm going to explain this one after the other so you can get this completely so the first part here guys you have your title this is the title of your website so i gave us gmat so our own website is called gmat the next you have your description you have the blog language you have your adult content you have if you if you want your website if your website shows that adult content you can turn on this part if you do not have it turn it off so uh, we are doing e-commerce website we really don't need to turn this on so next you have your favicon favicon is simply the little image you have on the top of your browser you have your privacy do you want your website to show for search engine yes you really want your website to show for search engine because you want external traffic to actually come to your website so yes you want your website to show up on search engine so your blog address do you want to change your blog address no you don't want to a custom domain if you want to add a custom domain like gmat.com.ng gmat.ng something like that, of those sorts you can add them from this area https redirect you can use it you can actually do any of these you can add some authors you can select my small post i like this to be a 100 so that a lot of posts will be on my home page so that people could have varieties to choose from so lazy loading of image is actually okay so that your website will load very fast show image of value yes is very okay to do so there are other settings here that are very necessary which are the meta tag description you want to turn this on so that your website you can add meta tags to your website and then it shows up on google so you have your custom for for error you have your redirect you have all that if you want to use an external monetization you don't want to use google adsense you can turn this on <clears throat> so these are the major thing you need to know on this part now the most important thing right now is the team right now the, which is the next step the team now we're going to be using the team for this website so the team as i said before guys you can get it from the sora template store see it doesn't matter if you're using the free version or the paid version the only difference is the free and the pay you see you have a footer credit it doesn't matter you can actually move it encrypted script strip, no premium support as you can see guys most of these things do not actually matter so you can make use of the free version you're going to see that's what i'm going to use for this tutorial so that you can actually not spend money while doing this website and then at the end of the day when you start making money you can then say okay let me update to the premium version so we're going to use Surya free so Surya version 2.0 click on open now it's going to up update on our website so once the team has actually been installed we're not going to be using this team again as you can see team restored we're not going to be using this team again we're going to be using our latest team so if you refresh see you're going to have your own new website so your e-commerce website has actually been set just for you to do some little customization as you can see this is it so there is the only few thing that you have here as you can see you have created by this is the credit the footer credit that's majorly one of the issue and then your banner image so on the main one i actually showed you guys because there was a banner image 
but on this there's no bad image because you're using the free version but don't worry guys there are ways around it so the first thing you have to do now i'm going to create some products now how do i create this product i already have a demo data done which i say for my previous um video I have a demo data i'm going to put a link in the description so you can download the demo data if you want so right here i'm going to click on import content click on import now come to my download as you can see this is it i'm going to click on open so now i'm going to import a lot of demo products on the website so that you can actually um i can actually continue the tutorial because i don't have the time to actually creating product one after the other but if you want to download this demo product link i'm going to put the link in the description so you can download it so now let's okay the website is still loading i it to load sorry let me see that import so you click on import log opened now if we come to our post we we'll have post right here it's actually taking time to load guys it's probably due to my network connection but if you go to your main page of your website as you can see you see i already have some products on my website so this is the product i have on my website guys these are a lot of products so you can also do the same thing so now automatically it's going to update so if you click on it now you're going to see that everything has actually been done for you as you can see you have the product you have the tag you have a tag as you can see this is a demo product now we'll start customizing guys we'll start customizing now so for some of you you understand how to code how to use html or css so you can just go to the html and css area in your settings part so if you click on the team you can edit it from this area but for others who do not know how to do those things you just have to come to your layout now your layout the first thing here is your payment option how do you want to collect payment on this website so you're going to set them up if you want to use paper if you want to use usd you want to use correction so you can use your usd so depending on what you want to use guys you can set them up on this part so how do you want your payment to be made if you want paper you're going to set paper if you don't want paper you're going to select a very good payment option so you, if you want to use bank details you can set up your bank details here guys this is the payments page so it's very very easy you have all the payment details all lined out for you so you don't need to start making um, a mountain out of the mohi you just you just start working on it guys so the next is to change your header so as you can see this um, logo doesn't belong to us so what you can do is to come here and actually upload the logo from your computer that you have if you do not have a logo you can just leave it and then it's going to use your blog image and just create something that's unique so i'm going to click on save now if we go back and refresh on our website so let's go back as you can see it's going to use our blog text to form this so as you can see we have that then the next you have your menu so the menu part you on this menu part you have a lot of menu here so it's really not needed actually so you can just come here and start changing them one after the other okay this is the top menu guys sorry this is the top menu this top menu this is it guys whatever is here so you want to put your gmail account so let's edit this so come here they put the name so just type in um gmat at gmail so dot com so this is my gmail i'm going to click on save now i'm going to edit the phone number also you're going to add your own phone number and then once you're done you're going to click on save so that is done for the red header menu now we have the menu which is the other menu which are the drop downs the sitemap these are the mega menus these are the ones you actually find here here so to edit them you just come here let me delete most of them first they're really not needed so i'm gonna delete this add a new menu so the menu i'm going to call this shirt shirt and i'm going to put the link and i'm going to show you how to pick the link for that so for that let's as in let's come here click on this part 
now you get the tags of this product you can make use of the tag so for this tag i'm going to call it muslim fashion so i'm going to copy this link come back here see um let's put this here put the link here then you can copy the let's assume this is what you want the title to be let me copy this so so probably you have a category for muslim fashion so you can just enter the muslim fashion here and then you click on save so whatever you want to enter here you can enter shirt gown and whatever you have you can enter them there so if you come back here and then you actually go to the home page of your website you're gonna see that each of those things will actually left you have these then the next part you have these main these other menu parts which you can also set some of them are very very much important you can actually leave them others are not you can edit them so you're going to create pages for all of them and i'm going to show you how to create page so these are where you can edit them as you can see so click on save so uh you can start creating your pages from this page area and then you can create your about us page your contact us page your privacy policy from the page at option so you have the next option you have your main post on the sidebar now you have let's assume we let's click on this on the sidebar first you have by power by blogger i really do not like power by blogger on my website so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the attribution remove okay now the next i don't like blog archive i really do not fancy this blog archive so i'm just going to remove it okay now report abuse i really do not like report abuse on my website so i'm going to remove it so as you can see save this now if we come back to our website we refresh move that here if we refresh as you can see you have your search you have your labels now you have i'm gonna delete this so now you have your search and your label alone which is your categories so now i'm gonna remove most of these um videos parts and then that will be all for this sidebar so if you scroll downward you see your social plugins you see your social plugins see your social plugins you see your categories your tags popular posts subscribe and stuff you have so then the down part you have your contact form which is this part sorry uh, okay okay the contact form is not really displaying because we have not edited it so you can actually edit that then you have your credit card option which is the option on the footer area here this is it you can actually edit them so guys the part that are very not important like subscribe to us you can come to your sidebar and then look for the subscribe to us button and then you can remove it if you have a youtube channel you can add it but if you don't you can remove it so that is that guys for that so i guess that is all i want to show you on this video i guess we have succeeded in building our own e-commerce platform for free so guys if you have any issue if you have any problem just let me know and i'll help you out in the description so this is our store so this is our store and our products are all lined up so everything you need is going to be in the description of this video so you can contact me for your help and if you want me to create a website for you you can just let me know and i'm gonna work that out for you so thanks for watching that this tutorial guys i really appreciate your effort i really appreciate your time so i'll see you in my next video hands to us guys thanks for watching and bye for now